And once again, as mentioned, joining us here from Kent State Tuscarawas is admissions counselor Emily Murray. Good morning, Emily. Good morning. How are you? Good. Glad to have you along here today. And you're uh, you're fairly new there at Kent State Tuscarawas in your position. Is that correct? Yes, I am. Um, I actually just started in March, uh, right around when everybody started working from home. <laughs> so that's been an interesting transition, but a good one. So I would imagine so. So um, what does your job entail? I guess you're uh, getting people involved, signed up for the uh, campus there at Kent State Tuscarawas, and I'm sure that gets uh, a little bit involved, doesn't it? It does, yes. Um, so my main job here is to really just be an, an advocate for the students who are applying. Um, I'm your resource here at, at campus. Um, as we're able to get back into the schools and um, have more events, um, you'll see me at all those admissions events. Um, I'm here to ask questions. I'm here to help you through the application process. Um, we go through it every day, but for most people, you know, they only apply once or maybe twice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, it's a definitely a new process for them. So it's nice to have somebody that you can – just ask any question that you need to about where you are in the application process, what you still need to do, right? Um, and and that's what we're here for. It, basically, are, what are some of the steps that uh, everybody should know? I mean, we don't have to go into great detail, but uh, work us through it a little bit if we're thinking about uh, coming out to Kent State Tusk. Yeah, definitely. Um, so we are planning some um, upcoming fall events. So one thing I always like to say is, is come and visit, come and see our campus. Um, I'm sure you'll fall in love with it, just like all of us have. Um, the next step is to apply. It's really simple. If you go on to our website, kent.edu slash tusk, there's um, a big apply now button, or it says apply up in the upper right. Um, it's a really great time to apply. Um, we are waiving all application fees, so you don't have to pay at the end. You just push pay later, and um, we'll take care of that whenever the application gets pushed through. And actually, right now, too, we are um, not requiring standardized test scores. So I know a lot of, like, ACT, SATs, uh, test dates have been canceled and moved around. Um, so we are not going to be requiring that um, for the spring and the fall and even maybe potentially uh, later than that. Well, that's, so, yeah, that's good of you to do that. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> once um, you apply, um, we'll get your application, and um, we'll kind of look through what you'd put, um, and you'll have a checklist that's going to be emailed to you with supplemental documents that we need. Most of the time, it's just your transcript. So if you're coming from high school, um, we'll just need a copy of your high school transcript so we know what classes you've taken and kind of where you're at. Um, and then if you are a transfer student, we'll uh, probably need your um, college uh, transcript from whichever college you're coming from. And then depending on how many credit hours you've taken, we may or may not need your final high school transcript. So that's something um, that we look at when it, when it comes in. And so once you get those in, we're able to make an admissions decision and let you know pretty quickly. Um, next step after that is really just applying for financial aid. The FAFSA is um, open usually October 1st, um, so you can get on and apply for that and be all ready for the, the next year when you want to start. That's good. So you said that you had some events coming up. Uh, when are those, and uh, what are those going, going to entail? Yeah, so um, we are having some in, on or on campus events um, this fall, so we're really excited about that. Our big one is going to be October 28th. It's our uh, fall info night. If you've ever been to one before, um, it's kind of college fair style, and it'll be very similar this year. Um, when you come, it'll be 5.30 to 7.30, um, and we're asking that you RSVP for an hour time slot. So um, we're going to be sending out emails uh, to get registered for that. Um, so you would pick either you're coming at 5.30 or coming at 6.30. That way we can kind of control how many people are going to be on campus at one time, uh, just the times that we're in right now. Mm -hmm. And... Um, you can come and ask questions of a lot of different departments on campus. So you'll check in at Founders Hall. We'll find out um, what you're, who you're interested in talking to, whether it be admissions or financial aid or any of the academic programs. You can go and uh, chat with people from there. We'll be doing campus tours, and our maker space will be open. So um, it should be a good time. Yeah. So that's, that's our big one. Um, we do have on-campus tours starting October 12th. Um, there are some limited times. So we just ask if you're interested in that to give us a call. Give me a call in admission, and I can get you scheduled. Um, and then virtually, we are having um, an admissions Q&A every Tuesday at 4 o'clock starting October 6th. It's just going to be me hanging out in a Zoom room, 
Um, so if you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to, to jump into that Zoom room, ask what you need. Um, I can give a short admissions presentation if you're interested in that. Um, so those links will be posted on all of our social media sites and then on our website as well that you can jump in any Tuesday at 4. That sounds really good, except, uh, you know, you have to spend a long time in the Zoom room, but that's okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah um, we're, it'll be about 4 to 4.30, so <laughs> okay, not, not, too too, bad. not too bad. Um, yeah, so please come and visit me <laughs> while yes. I'm in the Zoom right. room. Um, we're doing high school visits. Uh, most of those are taking, vir taking place virtually, uh, so just ask your high school guidance counselors about that. Um, and then we are filming a virtual tour. I'm really excited. We're actually going to do filming uh, today, this evening. So hopefully we'll get that up on our website here soon. That'll be nice. Yeah. I was going to say we have one last thing, uh, too. Um, all of the Kent State Regional Campuses are going to be um, presenting together on November 9th at 11 o'clock um, through the OACAC Virtual College Fair. Um, so all students are welcome to register for that. It's you can go to oacac.com slash virtual college exploration, and you can actually hear from all eight regional campuses um, at once. So that would be a great time to learn what makes each of the regional campuses special um, and kind of where, where you could fit um, mm -hmm. in the Kent State system. So explain to me why I should go to a regional campus. Why don't I just go to main campus and uh, just, you know, stay there? Yeah, there um there's a ton of perks for coming uh, to regional campus, especially one like Tusk. Um, so I, I like to say it's the best of both worlds. So whenever you're going through your college like exploration process, um, one of the big things that people focus on is, do you want to go to a large school? Do you want to go to a smaller school? And a regional campus is really the best of both because um, from the large school's perspective, we're part of that eight campus system. On our regional campus, you can take steps towards completing over 280 different majors. There's lots of options. You're going to find something that, that you like, that you want to do. We have the name recognition of Kent State University, the prestige that goes with that. But on the other hand, we also have a lot of the resources of like a smaller campus as well. We're looking at about 2,200 enrollment for fall 2020, so that's nice and manageable. Um, and it comes out to about 17 people is the average class size. So especially if you like a lot of personalized attention, this is a great place for you. Um, parents, someone is going to notice if your student is not going to class. So <laughs> that's a nice, <laughs> nice thing. Um, we have our own athletics, and about over 120 of our students are actually student athletes. So um, it, it's, a great, it's a great mix of both. You get all the resources of the large campus, but the personalized attention of the small campus. Yeah, that's a really good point. Well, Emily, I, uh, sounds like you're enjoying your new job, so we wish you the best of luck, and we want to thank you for getting us filled in on some information today. I am, yes. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity. Oh, no problem whatsoever. Thanks. All right, thank you. That is Emily Murray. She's a fairly new admissions counselor, but uh, in the know about Kent State Tuscarawas here on our Tusk Talk segment of the 830 High Beam here on the BT Morning Show.